Monkey Island series from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia. Monkey Island is the collective name given to a series of five graphical adventure games produced and published by LucasArts, originally known as Lucasfilm Games through the development of the first game in the series. The fifth installment of the franchise was developed by Telltale Games in collaboration with LucasArts. The games follow the misadventures of the hapless Guybrush Threepwood as he struggles to become the most notorious pirate in the Caribbean, defeat the plans of the evil undead pirate LeChuck, and win the heart of Governor Elaine Marley. Each game's plot usually involves the mysterious Monkey Island and its impenetrable secrets. The games were created as a collaborative effort between Ron Gilbert, Tim Schafer, and Dave Grossman. Gilbert worked on the first two games before leaving LucasArts. Grossman and Schaefer, who also worked on the first two games, would enjoy success on other titles before both of them also left. The rights to Monkey Island remained LucasArts, and the third and fourth games were created without the input of the original writing crew. Development of the fifth game was headed by Dave Grossman, with work from Michael Stemmel. Whilst not actively engaged in the project, Gilbert was involved with the initial design of the game. Overview The Monkey Island series is known for its humour and player-friendly qualities. The player cannot permanently place the game in an unwittable state or cause Guybrush to die without great effort. This player-friendly approach was unusual at the time of the first game's release in 1990. Prominent adventure game rivals included Sierra Online and Infocom, both of which were known for games with sudden and frequent character deaths or lockouts. LucasArts itself used such closed plot paths for its drama games like Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, the graphic adventure, 1989, but preferred the open format for other humour-oriented games such as Sam and Max Hit the Road, 1993, and Day of the Tentacle, also 1993. After Escape from Monkey Island, the franchise went on hiatus, though numerous rumours persisted about a revival until the announcement of Tales of Monkey Island by Telltale Games in early 2009. Much of the music of the games is composed by Michael Land. The score largely consists of dub and reggae-inspired music. The series also tends to break the fourth wall, as several of the characters acknowledge that they are in a video game. Setting Main article, World of Monkey Island. Each of the games takes place on fictional islands in the Caribbean. The time period in which they take place is around the Golden Age of Piracy, somewhere during the 18th century. The islands teem with pirates dressed in outfits that seem to come from movies and comic books rather than history, and there are many deliberate anachronisms and references to modern-day pop culture. The main setting of the Monkey Island games is the Tri-Island area, a fictional archipelago in the Caribbean. Since the first game in the series, The Secret of Monkey Island, three of the games have visited the titular island of Monkey Island, while all have introduced their own set of islands to explore. Monkey Island 2, LeChuck's Revenge, features four new islands but does not return to Monkey Island. The Curse of Monkey Island introduces three and The Escape from Monkey Island, which revisits some of the older islands, features three new islands as well. As such, the Tri-Island area actually comprises of a total of 13 visitable islands. Tales of Monkey Island takes place in a new area of the Caribbean called the Gulf of Melange. The main islands in the Tri-Island area are Malay Island, Booty Island, and Plunder Island which are ruled by Governor Elaine Marley, in place of her long-lost grandfather, Horatio Torquemada Marley. Elaine moves from island to island at her convenience, though she considers her governor's mansion on Malay Island, the capital island of the area, as home. Other islands in the region are considered under the umbrella of the Tri-Island area as well, even though Elaine does not rule them. These include the Pirate Islands, Scab Island, Fat Island, Mealy Island, Plunder Island, the Urbanized Lucre Island, Jambalia Island, the Minor Islands, Hook Island, Dinky Island, Skull Island, 
Nutin Atoll, the Rock of Gelato, and the Volcano Islands, Blood Island, Monkey Island. Additional islands seen in the map of the area but never visited include Spittle and Pinchpenny. The Gulf of Melange has its own set of islands, Flotsam Island. Characters. See also World of Monkey Island, hash minor characters. Many supporting characters have recurring roles in the game, including Stan, a disreputable salesman, the voodoo lady who advises Guybrush in supernatural matters and supplies tips, Herman Toothrot, an old hermit who has a surprising past, Wally B. Feed, a myopic height challenged cartographer, Carla, the swordsman of Melee Island, Otis, the flower-fancying pirate and friend of Carla, who invariably gets locked up. Murray, an evil, demonic, talking skull with delusions of taking over the world. The Monkey Island cannibals, who eventually turn to vegetarianism. Meat Hook, an artist who used to be a pirate and has two hooks in place of his hand. Lives on Hook Island. Inspiration Though Ron Gilbert has been widely quoted that the game was inspired by Disneyland's Pirates of the Caribbean ride, in his blog he stated that his true inspiration was Tim Power's book On Stranger Tides. The Games The Secret of Monkey Island Main Article The Secret of Monkey Island The series debuted in 1990 with The Secret of Monkey Island on the PC MS-DOS Atari ST and Macintosh platforms. The game was later ported to Amiga, FM Towns, and Mega CD, 1993. A remastered version with updated graphics and new voiceovers was released for PC Windows and Xbox Live Arcade on the 15th of July, 2009. An iPhone version was also released on the 23rd of July, 2009. The game starts off with the main character Guybrush Threepwood stating, I want to be a pirate. To do so, he must prove himself to three old pirate captains. During the perilous pirate trails, he meets the beautiful governor Elaine Marley, with whom he falls in love, unaware that the ghost of pirate LeChuck also has eyes on her. When Elaine is kidnapped, Guybrush procures crew and ship to track LeChuck down, defeat him, and rescue his love. Monkey Island 2, LeChuck's Revenge Main Article Monkey Island 2, LeChuck's Revenge The second game, Monkey Island 2, LeChuck's Revenge, from 1991, was available for fewer platforms. It was only released for PC MS-DOS, Amiga, Macintosh, and later for FM Towns. As Guybrush, with a treasure chest on hand, and Elaine hanging onto the ropes in a void, he tells her the story of the game. He has finally decided to find the greatest of all treasures, that of Big Whoop. Unwittingly, he helps revive LeChuck, who is now in zombie form. Guybrush is eventually captured by his arch-nemesis, but escapes with help from Wally, and finds the treasure only to find himself dangling from a rope, as depicted at the beginning of the game. As Guybrush concludes his story, his rope breaks and he finds himself facing LeChuck, whom he finally defeats using voodoo. The surrealistic ending is open to a number of interpretations. In the manual of The Curse of Monkey Island, it is stated that Guybrush falls victim to a hex implemented by LeChuck. However, it should be noted that while LeChuck's revenge was designed by Ron Gilbert, The Curse of Monkey Island was not, suggesting a possible break in continuity between the episodes. The Curse of Monkey Island Main article, The Curse of Monkey Island. The Curse of Monkey Island, the third in the series, was an exclusive available for PC Windows in 1997. Guybrush unwittingly turns Elaine into a gold statue with a cursed ring, and she is soon stolen by pirates. He tracks her down before searching for a ring that can lift the curse. LeChuck appears in a fiery demon form, and is on the heels of Guybrush until a standoff in LeChuck's amusement park ride, The Roller Coaster of Doom. Escape from Monkey Island Main article, Escape from Monkey Island Escape from Monkey Island was released in 2000 for PC Windows and 2001 for Macintosh and PlayStation 2. 
When Guybrush Threepwood and Elaine Marley return from their honeymoon, they find that Elaine has been declared officially dead, her mansion under destruction order, and her position as governor is up for election. Guybrush investigates and unearths a conspiracy by LeChuck and an evil real estate developer, Ozzy Mandrill, to use a voodoo talisman, the ultimate insult, to make all pirates docile in order to turn the Caribbean into a centre of tourism. Tales of Monkey Island Main Article Tales of Monkey Island Tales of Monkey Island is a five-episode adventure series currently being produced by Telltale Games for WiiWare and PC. The first episode was released on July 7th, 2009. During a heated battle with his nemesis, the evil pirate LeChuck, Guybrush unwittingly unleashes an insidious pox that rapidly spreads across the Caribbean, turning pirates into zombie-like monsters. The voodoo lady sends Guybrush in search of a legendary sea sponge to stem the epidemic, but this seemingly straightforward quest has a surprise around every corner. The Secret of Monkey Island Special Edition Main Article The Secret of Monkey Island Special Edition Blank Common Themes The games in the series share several mini-games, puzzles, in-jokes, and references. Maps Each game consists of a map puzzle wherein Guybrush must use an unconventional map to find his way through a maze. The first game features a set of dance instructions that point the way through the dense forest of Melee Island to find the island's fabled treasure. In the second game, Guybrush must use a song in a dream sequence to find his way through LeChuck's dungeon. The third game is the reverse of this, as the instructions the player receives are traditional directions and need to be used on a theatre lightboard. The fourth game has a set of directions based on time, and the fifth based on animal sounds and the direction of the wind. Recipes Each game features a sequence of some sort, where players must gather the ingredients to create an item. Then, later in the game, the player has to create the item again, but this time around with improvised materials. In the first game, Guybrush must brew a voodoo concoction but, lacking ingredients, must improvise with the contents of his inventory, leading to amusing puns. In Monkey Island 2, at two points of the game, Guybrush has to create a voodoo doll, one time with legitimate ingredients, and one time with improvised ingredients. The same goes with the hangover medicine in Monkey Island 3, and the ultimate insult in Monkey Island 4. A preview of Tales reveals that the first puzzle in the game is to reconstruct a magic cutlass with improvised parts after Guybrush breaks it in the introduction. Mini games. Each game also contains a mini game based on learning and repetition of a sequence in order to become more proficient. Insult sword fighting in the first and third games, a number based password, as well as a spitting contest in the second, banjo fighting in the third, and insult arm wrestling and Monkey Combat in the fourth. The first and fourth games also both feature a puzzle which involves following another character through several locations, a trick also used in Indiana Jones and The Fate of Atlantis. Some other mini-games also include naval cannon battles and platform diving. Pop Culture References The Monkey Island series is full of spoofs, in-jokes, humorous references, and easter eggs. So many, in fact, that entire websites are dedicated to their detection and listing. Running gags include lines such as, Look behind you, a three-headed monkey! The introduction, My name is Guybrush Streetwood, and I'm a mighty pirate. How appropriate, you fight like a cow. I'm selling these fine leather jackets, a reference to Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, the graphic adventure, and... That's the second biggest object I've ever seen. A catchphrase from the TV series, Get Smart. And in EMI, that's the second big... No, that's the biggest conch shell I've ever seen. And the astounding fact that Guybrush can hold his breath for ten minutes. Ron Gilbert has openly admitted that sections of Monkey Island 2 borrowed extensively from the original Disneyland ride, such as the famous dog holding the keys to the jail cell. However, he has also said that he thought the second movie, Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest, may have borrowed from the Monkey Island series. 
Each game in the series features cameo appearances by Steve Purcell's characters, Sam and Max, who were also featured in their own LucasArts adventure game, Sam and Max Hit the Road. The Secret The Secret None of the games explicitly reveal the secret of Monkey Island, although creator Ron Gilbert has stated that the secret was not revealed in any of the games, and that the true secret would be revealed if he got to work on the fifth entry in the series. LeChuck himself, when asked in the second and third games, refuses to answer the question. Guybrush can eventually prod LeChuck to confess that he does not know what the secret is. Gilbert stated that he never told anyone what the true secret of Monkey Island is. A large article about the subject can be found here. Gilbert stated in a 2004 interview that when the game was originally conceived, it was considered too big, so they split it into three parts. He added that he knows what the third part is, and how the story is supposed to end, indicating that he had a definite concept of the secret and a conclusive third game. The team behind Escape from Monkey Island attempted to resolve the issue by showing that the giant monkey head was actually the control room of a giant monkey robot. The cutscene in which the revolution was made is called The Real Secret of Monkey Island. See also World of Monkey Island, LucasArts Adventure Games, Scum, Scum VM, and Ron Gilbert. References Ron Gilbert 2004-09-20 On Stranger Tides Grumpy Gamer retrieved on April 17th, 2006 2. LucasArts 2009-06-01 The Secret of Monkey Island Special Edition Product Page LucasArts retrieved on June 1, 2009 3. HTTP colon slash slash kotaku dot com forward slash five two seven three nine five zero forward slash new dash and dash old dash monkey dash island dash adventures dash in dash the dash works. Four HTTP colon slash slash www dot telltale games dot com forward slash monkey island forward slash FAQ. 5. HTTP colon slash slash adventuregamers.com forward slash article forward slash ID comma 1024. 6. Ron Gilbert 2006-06-24 The Monkey Island Movie Grumpy Gamer Retrieved on 2008-03-31 7. Greg Cassavin, 30th of June, 2006. Designer Threads Feet Ron Gilbert. HTML and MP3. Retrieved on 2007-05-23. 8. Idle Thumbs, Ron Gilbert Speaks, Part 2. External links. MyWiki.net, a Monkey Island wiki. M-I-W-I-K-I dot N-E-T Grumpy Gamer, the personal blog of Monkey Island creator Ron Gilbert. LucasArts Soundtracks, soundtracks to all four Monkey Island games, converted to MP3 format and free for download. ScumVM, a multi-platform open-source scum interpreter, allowing the first three MI games to be played on all modern platforms. The Monkey Island Scum Bar, a popular fan site, reopened after the announcement of Tales of Monkey Island. World of Monkey Island, a large Monkey Island fan site, closed but content still viewable. The Legend of Monkey Island, another fan site with lots of information. Quick and Easy, how to run LucasArts adventure games in Windows XP 2000 and NT with no problem at all. AT Machines House of LucasArts, detailed information about the graphics in the games. Categories, Monkey Island, Video Game Franchises, Video Games About Pirates, Comedy Video Games. Text is available under the Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike licenses. Additional terms may apply. See Terms of Use for details. Wikipedia is a registered trademark of the Wikimedia Foundation, Inc., a non-profit organization.